Yellowstone National Park is the oldest, one of the largest, and probably the best known national park in the United States. It is situated in northwestern Wyoming and partly in southern Montana and eastern Idaho and includes the greatest concentration of hydrothermal features in the world. You are here. Oh, mud pots. It's so exciting. Here we are at Yellowstone National Park. And we are in Wyoming right now. Oh my gosh, we're walking to some geysers here. Norse Geyser Basin lies roughly midway between the southern hydrothermal area and Mammoth Hot Springs. It is noted for having some of the hottest and most acidic hydrothermal features in the park, and also includes Steamboat Geyser, which can throw water to heights of 300 feet and higher, and is the world's highest erupting geyser. Like a swimming pool. Oh, ah, it's like a swimming pool. Hot tub. Nature's hot tub. Taking the Ferry Creek Trail, and it's going to take us above the prismic, prism, prismic pools. Pretty hot out now. Very crowded here, and we're not used to it just because we came from Saskatchewan. <laughs> not very many people in northern Montana. Not too many people, but we've we've learned that it's better to park on the road than try to get into a parking lot. And patience. And patience. <laughs> it is a lesson in patience but it's so worth it. The park was established by the U.S. Congress on March 1st, 1872 as the country's first national park. Many of Yellowstone's noted geysers and other thermal features are located in the western portion of the park, between Old Faithful and Mammoth Hot Springs, some 50 miles to the north. The greatest concentrations are in the upper geyser 
Midway Geyser and Lower Geyser basins that extend northward for about 10 miles from Old Faithful. So we made it to Old Faithful and it, he or she is due to go off in an hour. So we're gonna go for a little hike to Observation Point. Are you excited to see Old Faithful? Yeah, I think it's gonna be cool. It's like things you see on, you know, in cartoons when you're a kid, well, at least me, you know, with Yogi Bear, and Boo Boo Bear, and Yellow Jellystone Park. So it seems like so fun that I'm actually here, like a million years later. It's so exciting. It's pretty here. Yeah. I don't think it's that busy. For a it's not too bad. No. Yeah. Lots of parking here, so that's why it didn't seem so bad. Faithful is supposed to erupt and we were longer than planned on that observation lookout hike. So we're trying to get back there before we miss it. Well, we won't miss it, but we're kind of far away. So we're trying to get there. There she goes. Oh no. Here old faithful but we were kind of far away so I'm gonna try and come back later and to be right beside it this time I'll plunk myself down there and uh, and wait for it okay might just talk to a park ranger and the next one is time to go off at 504 so that it's 3 30 now so we've got an hour and a half to check out some more places and I'm gonna be parked right there next time and I'm gonna get you guys, some fabulous footage. <laughs> <laughs> Old Faithful is one of the most well-known geysers in the world. Located in Yellowstone National Park, this incredible natural feature has been drawing visitors for more than a century. Old Faithful was named by the Washburn Expedition of 1870, who explored the area that would later be called Yellowstone. Members of the expedition entered the upper geyser basin after traveling down the Firehole River and saw the geyser, which they called Old Faithful because of the regularity which it erupted. Geysers like Old Faithful are only formed under specific conditions, making them relatively rare. Magma under the Earth's surface superheats pockets of underground water, building pressure that eventually pushes the water upward. Old Faithful was the first named geyser in Yellowstone. Despite popular belief, the geyser doesn't erupt every hour on the hour. It currently erupts every 91 minutes on the average. In the early days of the park, people sometimes used the geyser to wash their clothes. Explorers and other visitors would throw their clothes into the geyser between eruptions and wait for them to be shot back out, thoroughly clean. 
Apparently woolen garments didn't fare very well, but other types of fabric seem to do just fine. In recent years, research has shown that the intervals between Old Faithful's eruptions have been getting longer. In the 1960s, the average interval between eruptions was 66 minutes, and now it's 91 minutes. It is uncertain what is causing the change. The National Park Service attributes lengthening intervals to earthquake activity, which can affect the structure of the water system below the ground. Did you see it? Yes, we did. Did they you see out. the bison? No, but I heard people talking about the yeah. bison. They walk right beside the teepee here. Yeah. I got a picture with Rocco's ears and the bison in the back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're like right there. Holy. Right where those people are standing. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to calm them down. I like this one. This one? Yeah. Or that one? This one or that one? Mm. I like this one. I like the colors in that one. But okay. <laughs> no, you can give whatever one you want. No. <laughs> What'd you get for a rocker? A little bison so you can tear this one apart instead for of the real ones. For Rocco? Yes. <laughs> After our visit to Yellowstone National Park, we slowly make our way back home. Thank you so much for watching everybody. If you enjoy my videos, please feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And we will catch you on the next one. Take care.